in my local post office. There's a woman there. She's been there about 20 years. I don't like her. She's <laughs> smug, is the word. <laughs> One of those faces that's so smug it sort of folds into itself. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. <laughs> she looks like someone's punched a quiche. <laughs> and she's called Lorraine. No, you're better than that. Um, <laughs> and she's always got some quip, some line. I went in with my passport form, and they do a check and send service at the post office, and she licked her finger, and she went through it, and she went, ah, your referee has spelt neighbour wrong. And I went, what? She's like, it's missed out the H on neighbour. You'll have to fill it in again. I was like, surely that's all right. And she went, no, no, there can be no risk of any confusion as to what that word means. You'll have to fill it in again. Pushed it back at me. I thought... I'm not having this. It takes ages to fill out that form. You have to send off for it. You have to get a referee. I thought, I'm not having it. So I thought, I'll be a bit weird with her. So I went, oh, no, sorry. He's, um, he's not my neighbour. He's my doctor. She went, what? I said, he's misspelled doctor. So doctor's obviously spelled D-O-C-T-O-R. He spelled it N-E-I-G-B-O-U-R. He spelled doctor wrong. And she went, no, that clearly says neighbour. Oh, does <laughs> Did quiche face back at her, didn't I? I um, I've been weird with people in real life, but um, my main work being weird with people is online, as I've said. A few examples of the sort of things that I do. There's a Starbucks that I know in Cardiff. It's not a 24-hour one, but they are next to a Strada. And so whenever I'm in Cardiff, I'll tweet the official Starbucks account with things like this. FYI, I'm on your Starbucks customers only Wi-Fi, but I'm actually next door in Strada having a Prosecco, and I don't give a shit. (laughs) 